Hey guys, we're just gonna be, give you a little heads up here. Whenever you're going on an unfamiliar inlet, always check with these guys. They'll give you the heads up, the, the local knowledge on the dangers and the right way and the wrong way to approach an inlet. This is Ian on Tow US, and uh, he's a prime example of somebody that knows this inlet like the back of his hand. So don't be afraid to ask these guys. Tell us a little about the inlet. What, where would you go? Uh, it's a Hillsboro inlet. We have the weir on the north side, the north jetty uh, at high tide. Looks like. There's uh, nothing underneath the water. It looks like flat water. Right now it's a low tide, outbound tide. Um, you will run aground. Uh, always stay between the channel markers. Jimmy Buffett said it best. Keep reading the navigational beacons. Uh, you go down on the south side of the green markers here at Hillsboro. There's a giant reef, probably about three to 400 feet long. Uh, once again, a high tide. Some of the outboard guys will get lucky. Uh, anybody that's got inboard boats, you're gonna smoke the reef for sure. So be a bad day but Tobo US we're always sitting here uh, if you ever have any questions about the inlets uh, even any other inlets here in Broward County Boca Inlet not really good for deep draft vessels right now whatever glades always a safe bet uh, we're always standing by on channel 16 scanning all the other channels uh, if you have any questions hail us up when you're dealing with navigating an inlet like this and Mark's gonna go into this for a bit here but when you're dealing, you have, a, you have a, 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 the capability to go up and talk to somebody. Don't feel weird about it. A lot of people's egos get in the way of the fact that, they're, that they, they don't know how to navigate, but yet they don't want to show that to people on the boat. Always utilize what you can. I'm deathly afraid of the ocean. Even though I fish on it every day, I know what it can do. That being said, things are always changing. And Mark's going to talk to you about dredges, sandbars, northeast ground swells, things where you know where it changes on a daily basis so if the wind here especially in the months of december january february and march when you